Something dangerous discovered in a James City County neighborhood. Police busted a meth lab operation being run out of a home and a car. Officers arrested three men last night, one of them trying to run from police. Robert Boyd talked to neighbors who say they didn't see this coming. People living on Tan Bark Lane say this is a quiet, safe neighborhood where they can walk with their children and their grandparents. None of them had any idea that their neighbor had a fully operational meth lab at this house. It's a neighborhood everybody waves, you know, when you're driving down the street. And to think something like that would happen is just kind of uh, shocking. Frank Chavez says the whole reason he moved to Williamsburg was to get away from crime. So he was disappointed to find out there was a meth lab busted on his street. People with young kids and stuff like, you know, it's a scary fact, you know, with drugs always comes violence. It was around 7 o'clock Wednesday night when the Tri-Rivers Drug Task Force went to the home to execute a search warrant. It was at that same time a car pulled up, then took off with police following behind. They could have easily killed somebody, sideswiped somebody, not, you know, knowing they were there. The car was tracked down a few miles away at this farm fresh supermarket. Inside the vehicle, police discovered byproducts used to make methamphetamine. While back at the house, more products used to make meth were found in a backyard shed. Sean Copley and Byron Davis were arrested and charged with possession and manufacture of methamphetamines, while Robert Copley Jr., the man who fled the scene, was arrested on a warrant out of Colonial Heights. According to neighbor Walter Thon, the Copleys are brothers, and the home where the bus took place belongs to their parents. We knocked on the door, but the person inside did not answer. Walter said he remembers speaking with Sean Copley. He came by here several times, but he's always very polite and nice. James City County Police were not able to go on camera, but they did say that this kind of bust is very startling and rare for this area. In Williamsburg, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.